Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And our mission today is we've cut apart an oil filter, and not just any oil filter. We had a video a couple of months ago from July 12th about a cylinder change gone wrong. We had spalling on the cam and on the lifters. So what we've done is we've taken the oil filter from that aircraft now. We've drained all the oil out of the filter. We've cut the filter open. And now we're going to go ahead and take the filter element, coil it up, and we're going to put it into 100 low lead, which is an FAA approved cleaning solution. And then we're going to uh, agitate it um, to knock all the metal out of it, brush the filter down, and then strain it through a coffee filter and see what we get for a particulate matter. So stay tuned for more fun coming up. Pull that in. So there's there. one right there on the ridge yeah, that so you don't really get to see. Okay. All right. So anyway, Matt's holding the other end of the filter element. Here's the filter element after being cleaned. There are a few little pieces of glinting aluminum in the filter. Uh, they're really too small to show up on the camera, but Matt will point one out with his fingers right there. So let's flip it over to the other side, and you can see a, a couple more pieces in here. But we also have filtered all the 100 low lead we use for cleaning through a coffee filter. Now we have it on a napkin, and we're going to go take a look at that. So here we have the mess. Uh, there's really not that much metal here. There's some carbon. Um, what we've done is we strained it all. Matt's just flicking a few more pieces. Now we're going to take a rare earth magnet. This is a 33 uh, milligauss. It's a very strong little magnet. Matter of fact, if you drop it onto the... Uh, Put it on a refrigerator it is not coming off with one hand and as you can see the tip of that magnet is just filled so that was all ferric material now according to the lycoming manual that is less than half a teaspoon and therefore the engine is safe to continue operating however we know that the cam and the lifters are spalled and that's why we're getting all this really hard metallic metal uh, because that's what's being thrown out into the system so the engine's going out for overhaul we just wanted to cut it open. It was a suggestion from one of our, um, our viewers on YouTube, like, hey, cut the filter open and let's see what's in it. So we have now done that, and we hope you find this informative, and thanks for watching. Have a good day flying your drumming.